He is known for his deep understanding of Chinese history and culture. He is recognized for his extensive knowledge gained through self-study and traditional family school education. He is C.H. Yen Mu. C.H. Yen Mu, a renowned philosopher and historian, emerged from the illustrious Qian family in Wuxi, China. His lineage traced back to Qian Lu, the esteemed founder of the Wuyue Kingdom. Growing up in the vibrant village of Qifang Chiao, C.H. Yen Mu's childhood was immersed in the rich tapestry of rituals, festivals, and ancestral beliefs that bound his family together. Though he received limited formal education, his thirst for knowledge led him to delve deeply into Chinese history and culture through traditional family school teachings and his relentless pursuit of self-study. At the tender age of 18, C. H. Yen Mu embarked on his teaching career as a primary school educator in his hometown. However, it was his serendipitous encounter with the celebrated historian Gu Jigang that would usher him into a new chapter of his life. Invited and recommended by Gu Jigang himself, C. H. Yen Mu joined the esteemed Yenqing University as a lecturer in 1930. This marked the beginning of a distinguished teaching career that would see him imparting his wisdom and expertise in renowned institutions such as Tsinghua University and Peking University. Unfortunately, in 1937, the Japanese army occupied Peking, abruptly halting C. H. Yen Mu's tenure. Despite this setback, C. H. Yen Mu's intellectual legacy and contributions to Chinese philosophy and history continue to resonate even today, inspiring generations to delve into the profound depths of their cultural heritage. C. H. Yen Mu, a renowned philosopher and educator, found himself in Hong Kong in 1949 amidst the aftermath of the Civil War and the rise of communism. It was at the suggestion of Chang Chi Yun that he made his way to this vibrant city. With the support of the Yale China Association and the collaboration of esteemed scholars like Tang Chunai and Chang Pai Kai, C. H. Yen co-founded New Asia College. This institution would go on to graduate numerous distinguished scholars and contribute greatly to various communities. C. H. Yen Mu's dedication to education led him to serve as the president of New Asia College from 1949 until 1965. During his tenure, he passionately nurtured the growth of the college and its students. However, as time passed, New Asia College became a member college of the Chinese University of Hong Kong and relocated to Ma Lu Shui in Sha Tin. Feeling that the college had lost its freedom and fearing its eventual disappearance, C. H. Yen made the difficult decision to resign. In his public statement, C. H. Yen expressed his desire to devote more time to his scholarship, but in private, he revealed his concerns about the college's future. Undeterred by the challenges he faced, C. H. Yen embarked on a new endeavor. He established New Asia Middle School, a non-profit Chinese secondary school, on the former campus of the college. This venture allowed him to continue his mission of providing quality education to the younger generation. C. H. Yen Mu's commitment to education and his profound impact on the academic landscape did not go unnoticed. His contributions were recognized with honorary doctorates from both Yale University and the University of Hong Kong. His legacy as an educator and philosopher continues to inspire and shape the minds of students and scholars alike. C. H. Yen's relocation to Taiwan in 1967 was a turning point in his life. It was an invitation from President Chiang Kai-shek himself, in response to the tumultuous leftist riots in Hong Kong. Accepting the invitation, C. H. Yen made his way to Taiwan, where he was later honored as a member of the prestigious Academia Sinica in 1968. This was a significant moment for C. H. Yen, as it remedied his lifelong regret of not being elected as a member of this esteemed institute in the past. In Taiwan, C. H. Yen was provided with land in the beautiful Weishuangxi area of the Shirlin district, where he built his home called Sushalu. While residing in Taiwan, C. H. Yen continued his academic pursuits as a freelance researcher and lecturer at various universities. His passion for knowledge and his dedication to sharing it with others remained unchanged. After decades of teaching, C. H. Yen decided to retire in 1984. His contributions to academia were not forgotten, and in 1978, New Asia College inaugurated the C. H. Yen Mu Lectures in his honor. This was a testament to the impact he had made on the intellectual community and his lasting legacy. However, C. H. Yen's later years were not without challenges. In 1990, he became embroiled in a controversy when two politicians from the Democratic Progressive Party accused him of occupying public land with his home, Sushalu. They claimed that the gifting of the land by Chiang Kai-shek to a private citizen was illegal. Forced to leave his cherished home, C. H. Yen and his wife relocated to a high-rise apartment in downtown Taipei City. Sadly, C. H. Yen passed away on August 30, 1990, less than three months after being forced to leave Sushalu. Many of his supporters condemned the actions of the politicians who had used C. H. Yen as a pawn for their political agendas. 
Eventually, both politicians apologized for the damage caused by their accusations, and Sushalur now stands as the Chien Mu Memorial, a tribute to the great philosopher and his enduring legacy. Chien Mu's life in Taiwan was a testament to his unwavering commitment to knowledge and his resilience in the face of adversity. His contributions to academia and his impact on the intellectual community continue to inspire us today. Through his teachings and writings, Chien Mu reminds us of the importance of intellectual pursuit and the power of knowledge in navigating the complexities of life. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.